Now, I think that uh, in the last 20 years, green chemistry has made a tremendous impact to uh, um, a lot of things we're in terms of utilizing and making chemical product. And uh, currently, the uh, field of green chemistry is very broad and a lot of new uh, potential the emerging technology such as the uh, in, in energy issues and also in synthetic issues and your renewable issues etc but I in, in my own research subject and uh, what I see uh, potential emerging but also has a tremendous impact is the uh, uh, biorefinery where uh, for example currently uh, in our society we use so many so many chemical products uh, products uh, from uh, clothing to uh, the uh, uh, medicine to agricultural cultural product, well, agrochemicals, etc. Uh, or most of these products were made from the uh, petroleum resource. First of all, the petroleum is a very simple molecule, and we have to use a long sequence and uh, to produce these chemical products. At the same time, produce a lot of waste. On the other hand, nature uh, already produced many many molecules, and such as the carbohydrates and amino acids and the lignin, etc., etc., and they are already very close to what we need in our society. But on the other hand, we have very little knowledge in the past in terms of how to convert them directly to what we need. I think uh, um, in terms of biorefinery, a new chemistry emerging where it can allow us to convert these uh, renewable resources very quickly and will have a great impact in our society in the future. I'm a CJLE uh, professor of chemistry at McGill University in Montreal, Canada.